8.4 proportionality theorems. We've got two proportionality theorems here. One of them is the forward direction, one of them is the backward. So as long as you understand one of the directions, that's good. So it says if a line is parallel to one side of the if a line is parallel to one side of the triangle, the other two sides then divides the two sides proportionately. So if we say that TU is parallel to QS, then RT is proportionate to TQ. So these two side lengths are proportionate to each other. And RU is proportionate to US. So the side lengths become proportionate to each other. The other direction is also true. If the side lengths are proportionate, then the opposite sides become parallel. So let's try this on. In the diagram, QS is parallel. They're announcing to UT. RS is 4, ST is 6, QU is 9. What is the length of RQ? So we're looking for this length right here, RQ. So we know that since they're parallel, that means that the side lengths are proportionate to each other. I can call this missing length X. So we can say that X compares to 9 as 4 compares to 6. And cross multiply, x times 6 is 6x, 9 times 4 is 36, divide by 6, and x equals 6. All right, let's try another. In the diagram, they're parallel, and they've labeled the important parts. What is the length of VW? So we're looking for this length right here. I'll call it x. So x compares to 12 as 10 compares to 8. You could set these proportions up differently. There are multiple ways to set them up and get the same answer. This is just one way. So 8x equals 120, divide by 8, and x equals 15. And I should actually come back up here and finish this one too. So we're going to say that RQ is 6, and VW is 15. All right, another proportionality theorem is called the three parallel lines theorem. So if you've got three parallel lines in a diagram, it creates proportionate lengths on the inside of the boxes. So it's saying that this UW is proportionate to YW, so these two are proportionate, and VX is proportionate to XZ, so kind of that inner box the inner box that's created instead of a triangle is what is proportionate. So let's try one. In the diagram, angles one, two, and three are congruent. GF is 120 yards, DE is 150 yards, and CD is 300 yards. Find the distance H to F between Main Street and South Main Street. We know a chunk of it already is 120, but we'd like to know the length of G to H in order to finish this problem. So the inside portion of this diagram, and I'm gonna highlight it with a highlighter here. The inside portion of this diagram is F to H, H to C, C to E, and E to F. That's the inside portion of this diagram, so that means that 150 corresponds to 300 and 120 corresponds to X. So we can say X is compared to 120 as 300 is to 150 and cross multiply, so that's 150 X equals 36,000 divided by 150 X equals 240. So that means that this length is, whoops, 240, sorry. But they want to know the whole length, so uh, we can just add those together. So 240 plus 120 makes it 360, and the units on this is yards. 360 yards total. Last one. The last one is called the angle triangle angle bisector theorem. So if a ray, 
bisects an angle of a triangle, then it divides the opposite sides into two segments whose lengths are proportional to the lengths of the other two sides. It does not mean that these two side lengths are equal. The length of AD is not equal to the length of DB. They're totally different lengths, but it makes them proportionate to the side lengths. So that means that AD is proportionate to DB, so this length and this length. And then the side lengths are proportionate, so CA is proportionate to CB. So if you kind of think about it, the little base chunks are, are proportionate and the side lengths are proportionate. So let's try an example. In the diagram, um, QPR is congruent to RPS, so that means it's a bisector. Use the given side lengths to find the length of RS. So we're looking for the length of RS here. So if we follow this pattern, QR is proportionate to RS. I don't know what QR is and seven is proportionate to 13. Now the trick to writing the length of QR is to use this whole length of 15 and subtract away the chunk that's next to it. So this is really 15 minus X, some chunk of 15, some X chunk of 15. So now we can say 15 minus X is compared to X, those two side lengths, as seven is compared to 13. So x times 7 is 7x. 13 times 15 minus x, I'm going to write it like this. Because the 13 applies to both pieces. Distribute the 13. 7x equals 3 times 15 is 195 minus 13x. Add 13x. So then that's going to be 20x equals 195. Divide by 20 and X equals 9.75. So RS equals 9.75. Thank you.